hands on with the Kidios SK2520 bus powered rate enclosure. How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is the SK2520 from Akidio. It is a super speed USB enabled external RAID enclosure. And that means it is USB 3.1 Gen 2 compatible, which offers up to 10 gigabits per second on supported USB interfaces. So inside you'll find the traditional Akidio stickers and cable tie. And then of course you have the SK2520 which is a fairly small enclosure when you take it out of the box. And then you also have the box that contains the power connector and you also have a USB Type-C cable, which is reversible, of course. So here is your power connector. It slides on like that. And a very robust USB Type-C cable to give you that full 10 gigabits per second bandwidth on eligible interfaces. So again, the SK2520 enclosure is fairly small. It fits in my hand like that. I can just palm it, no big deal. And you can see the Akidio text on the side. And then on the rear, you have your USB Type-C port that delivers 15 watts of power and your power connector. Now this thing is also bus powered, so you don't necessarily need the power connector. But of course you would need the power if you want to take advantage of USB power delivery. Now the LED lights, the middle light is the power light and the two side lights are for both the left and right drives inside. So we can just unscrew like this. And once these two screws are removed, you can just slide out the drive bay just like this. And you can see that everything is metal inside. There are no fans. The whole enclosure works basically like a large heat sink. So you have the left and right SATA connections, you have your main board, you have your USB, and you have your jumper pins. So you can use these jumpers to configure the various types of RAID. You can select non-RAID, RAID 1, RAID 0, or SPAN, which basically combines both drives into just one large drive. Now to demonstrate this setup, I'm going to use two SanDisk Ultra 2 SSDs. These aren't the fastest SSDs on the block, but they'll do a good job of showcasing how it all works. So just slide the first one in, the second one in, just like that. You're going to need to provide some screws and you want to use these ports here, these screw holes here, because they are recessed uh, to allow the bay to slide back in to the main enclosure easily. So now just set the jumpers to the desired hardware RAID setting. Make sure your device is plugged into your computer using the USB-C cable and then confirm by pressing the button right here. So that little button, just hold that button and then you'll see the lights flash. Give it a second and you see that flash there that indicates that the configuration worked. So now just look at your computer. It should pop up to say the disk inserted was not readable. You can initialize that will open up disk utility. If that doesn't pop up, just open Disk Utility, find your drive. You can see it is a RAID 0 setup, so it combines both drives, striping those drives for the best performance. Now we can go ahead and format. I'll format as APFS. And there we go. So now that we have RAID configured to our desired setting, you can go ahead and reassemble the enclosure. Now, let's talk about who this enclosure may be for. This enclosure is great for MacBook owners because obviously it uses USB Type-C. You don't need Thunderbolt 3 necessarily, uh, so it's good for MacBook owners. But keep in mind that MacBooks only have the 5 gigabits per second interface, USB 3.1 Gen 1. So it's not going to be as fast as it would be on a MacBook Pro or an iMac, for instance. So keep that in mind. Uh, so you may just want to use this for your, for your MacBook Pro. If you have a couple of drives laying around, you can repurpose those drives and turn it into a much faster drive as you can see right here. So let's check out System Profiler and just make sure that it is a 10 gigabits per second connection and it is. So ladies and gentlemen, again, if you have a couple of SSDs laying around SATA SSDs, why not repurpose them using this $100, $120 enclosure from Akidio. But if you don't already own SSDs, then otherwise you'd probably be better off just sticking with something like a Samsung T5. Or if you're looking for the faster speeds that RAID provides, you can check out the Atom SSD from Glyph. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with the 9to5Mac.